How do you make realistic 3D objects? I'm going to show you my process so you can apply it to your own project and create any object in 3D with a higher level of realism. I'm going to break it down into four parts, base, details, shading, and lighting. To begin modeling the base of a realistic object, we first need to really understand what we're modeling. To do that, I find references so I can understand its construction. When looking at an object, you want to ask yourself how many parts are in it and how are the parts held together. With a shoebox, it's made from a single piece of cardboard and held together with folded tabs. With that understanding, I can now create that piece of cardboard. In this example, I start with a plane and extrude it out. In this process, I also add bevels as real life corners are never perfectly sharp. It's critical you get your base right before you move forward. If your base is wrong, it can cost you a lot of extra time later on, or maybe even force you to redo everything. Regarding mesh topology, the key here is to have something that doesn't show weird polygons in the shading. We want to create a suspension of disbelief that this is real and make it seem tactile. Other than that, anything goes in terms of mesh topology. At this stage, I also like to UV unwrap my model to make sure applied textures will be continuous. It helps figure out the UVs while the mesh is simple and easy to deal with. The best UV unwrapping will give you a result with just the unwrap command rather than some sort of UV projection. Now that the base is done, we move on to the details. To me, this is the most important step to make it look realistic. When starting out, I thought realism was all about textures to make it look less perfect. But really, it's about creating actual geometry to make it look less perfect. For this, there's two ways to go about it. One is cutting edges and verts into your base model to create those imperfections. Or you can sculpt the details as I'm doing with this shoebox. Both methods work great. I decided to sculpt the damage on the shoebox because I knew I wanted a lot of imperfection and that ultimately would be quicker to do by sculpting. This imperfection helps show off the realistic materiality as each material crumbles, dents, and decays in different ways. Here, cardboard receives these indents along the vertical grooves of its corrugation. Now that your mesh has detail, we can move to the shading. Here we mix a bunch of texture maps to color and detail the object further. When doing this, you want to again look at your reference as scale of your textures can communicate if the object is real or not. You have a lot of room to play around here and find ways to make it pop with different colors, roughness maps, and normal maps. Here I use textures that I create in Adobe Illustrator, as well as some scratch textures I bought from the YouTuber Punisher to add some light scratches to the overall realism. I always add some noise in the normal map as well on all surfaces to ground it as a real material. Manufactured materials will very rarely be perfectly smooth, and a small noise on the bump node will help light catch onto it more naturally. After many little color tweaks later, we have something that looks pretty decent. Lastly is lighting. A lot of 3D renders can look fake because they're lit too evenly. I try my best to always have my models go from having bright areas to dark areas. This contrast helps ground it in reality. I use the false color view to help see this, and I test a bunch of different HDRIs to find lighting from a distinct source. Sometimes I also add one additional area light or spotlight to add a rim or help make it pop. For this shoebox, I ended up adding a little fog with a spotlight to give it a little more mood. And lastly, I added some compositing to tweak the levels and color adjustments to make sure it has strong light and dark areas as I mentioned before. And there we have a realistic shoebox. If you like this video, please drop a like or comment and don't forget to subscribe.